Those who know me know that I'm a fan of sound fonts. I use them regularly on my random DOS game show and comment on the music of games with annoying frequency too. I've championed Maxim Abbey's excellent Arachno sound font, used Chan's general MIDI sound font, and have been very impressed with the Tohu sound font that I'm undoubtedly pronouncing wrong. The thing about music and sound is that it's largely subjective. What's great for one person doesn't work for another, and that's where general user comes in. Like the aforementioned fonts, this one is a general purpose sound font that's meant to sound good on everything, while still sounding like it's coming from the 90s. The author, composer S. Christian Collins, has been designing sound fonts for a very long time, and his work is even featured in commercial games as big as Undertale. They claim that despite its small size of just over 30 megabytes, it can sound as good as or better than sound fonts two to three times larger. I'm not going to compare it to 16 different sound fonts in an hour long video, instead I'll be playing little snippets of music from games I like and then showing how general user fares. The first piece is called Candy Floss by Russell Shaw. It's a jaunty tune and here's what it originally sounded like on Sound Blaster. Now let's see what general user makes of it. Not bad for 30 megabytes. It's like a carnival in there. Time for doom to test those guitar tones. And what better way than playing at Doom's Gate by Bobby Prince? Here's the Sound Blaster version for reference. Now here's General User. Not bad at all, definitely up there with the Sound Canvas version. So we know it can rock with the best. Because Mr. Collins is a composer, you'd expect the orchestral pieces to be good. Here's a clip from Lands of Lore called Gladstone's Grief by Frank Klopaki. Now here's a slightly faster MIDI rendition from General User. Yeah, that's exactly as good as I thought it was going to be. 
Transport Tycoon Time. Easy Driver by John Broomhall should do the trick. Here's what OPL2 cards made of it. And now here's General User. Oh yes indeed, that's smooth. Last but not least is the hardest challenge yet. Warcraft 2 had a CD audio soundtrack as well as a MIDI soundtrack. So I'm going to compare the CD version with General User and see how it fares. On the amazing track Work 1 by Glenn Stafford. I think that speaks for itself. But here are some final thoughts from yours truly about the font. I like General User. A lot. It's versatile, and it works with Roland's general standard expansion too. It's mixed quite well, the instrument choice is excellent, and the volume of the font isn't as overpowering as some others. The other thing I like about it is that because of its small size, the resulting tracks still feel like video game music. Just better sounding tracks that feel period appropriate and evocative of the likes of a higher end SC55 while having its own voice, sounding even better at classical music than that device. To pack all that into 30 megabytes is crazy. No wonder it's a sound font of choice for many with period specific wavetable hardware and the default for devices like the MT32 Pi. So I'm going to continue my general usage of general user, an excellent sound font that's well worth a look if your machine just can't keep up with the larger fonts. And if you like me talking about old DOS stuff, turns out I have over a thousand videos on my channel now. Feel free to take a look and if you like what you see there, you can always subscribe.